So today we are going to be reviewing Japanese candy. I have no idea what these say. I don't, I, some of them I don't even know what's in them, honestly. And I just thought it would be fun to do this. Also, you guys have been asking me what kind of games I've been playing so far, games for fun, or games that I've been thinking of recording. So I'll let you guys know that a little bit later in this video, but first, let's start the Japanese taste test. So the first one that I'm going to be opening is the Hello Kitty Strawberry Ma Marshmallow. And there is strawberry jelly inside, which sounds pretty good. I love Hello Kitty and I love strawberry and marshmallow, so hopefully this is going to be really good. So let's open this sucker. I struggled, but I finally got this open. So, dang, that smells really good. This is what it looks like. It feels soft and like really, really nice. Alright, so I'm going to taste it. That's good. It tastes like, you know, just like jam. And then a little bit sour, which I wasn't expecting that. I didn't say that it was going to be sour. But... So far it's really good. I enjoy it. I give this, I think, a 9 out of 10. It's really good. It's sweet. It has a little bit of a sour kind of taste, but I like sour candy. So far it's really good. I like it. So, the next one that we're going to be doing is the rice candy. <laughs> I got this because it has a little picture of a cat. So I think I like rice candy, I'm not quite sure, but let's try it. I thought, I thought rice candy would look different than this. It kind of, it's like kind of a, yeah, it's a hard candy. Oh, I get a sticker. If you get this, you get a little sticker with Bunny that's like a, like, scuba diving and a little fish following him. But let's try the candy. <laughs> There's like, I don't know if I'm supposed to eat this. Like, do you see that? Like, am I supposed to eat? I don't think I'm supposed to eat that. But it's really hard to take off. Oh, I think I do eat the whole thing. All right, well, I'm gonna try it. Hopefully it's good. Man, I can't, like, it's taking forever for me to chew this. It's really, like, sticky in your mouth, too, when you're trying to chew. Um, I don't know what to say about this. Like, there, it has, like, a little subtle flavor to it. But I can't really describe it and like when I'm trying to chew it like it's like it's it keeps sticking to my tongue and like like the upper part of my mouth and I don't know. This maybe if you're feeling like you're bored and you have like that feeling of hunger but you're not really hungry, maybe this would be the right candy to get. But I I don't really care for it. I think a 3 out of 10. Yeah, not like my favorite. It's not my favorite at all. Even that kid looks confused about the candy. He's like, why am I on here? What's going on? So the next one I'm going to try, I have no idea how to say this. It looks like it's a root beer float type of flavor, so I'm really interested in how this is going to taste, so let's try it. It has like a little, little guy on there, that's like so sweet. 
if you guys can see that. Oh, look! This is what it looks like. It has like a little filling inside. So let's try it. Oh, dang. Definitely tastes like a little bit like root beer. And like, um... It tastes like... Like it's gum. And the flavor is really intense. It definitely like feels like you're chewing gum like you're not supposed to swallow it. Let me try I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> so with this, I don't know, like I like it, but at the same time I don't. At first when I tried it, it tastes like root beer, but then the second time it didn't really taste like it. It didn't taste like anything, it just had a really strong kind of flavor. I don't even know how to explain it. I I think I give this a 5 out of 10. Like, I don't know, it's, it's confusing. But it's good. Maybe like if I'm in the mood for it, I'll, I'll definitely have this. But it's not something I would go back and buy it again. Okay, so the next one that I got was the green tea Kit Kat. I'm really excited to try this because I really like green tea. So let's open this. Baby. Smells like green tea, of course. This is what it looks like. If you guys can see, little Kit Kat. Alright, let's try it. Hopefully, it's good. That is good! Oh my gosh! Like, look, that's what it looks like inside, if you guys can see that. But it is good! I'm not really like a big Kit Kat person, but I definitely prefer the green tea with the regular Kit Kats, if that's, like, that's weird, but it's true. I really like this one. Dang, that's tasty. Okay, so definitely I'm going to be getting more of the green tea Kit Kats, because they are freaking bomb. Alright, so I give this a 10 out of 10, or like 15 out of 10. Alright, the next one that I got is another Kit Kat. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's green tea. I'm guessing it is, but I'm not quite sure. Kit Kats. You guys are my Kit Kats. You guys are my favorite Kit Kats. Alright, so let's try. Oh! It's like, it's white. Oh, what? It smells like cheesecake. Oh my gosh! That's cheesecake! What the heck? They have a Kit Kat cheesecake. It's so good. That's tasty. What the heck? It tastes like white chocolate, but then like you could you could taste cheesecake, which is weird, but I love it. What the heck? I I'm not a big fan of Kit Kat bars, but these are super good. I give this, I'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10. The green tea one was my favorite. This one's good. So I'm just giving it a 9 out of 10. Oh no, it's good. And next, guys, I didn't tell you about this, but I was gonna think that I was gonna get thirsty when I'm doing this. So I got Getting It Cool Strawberry Soda. I've never tried this before. But hopefully it's good. Smells like strawberry. Damn. I can taste the sugar. A lot of sugar in this. It's good. It's not something I would drink all the time. Um, I really love the Ram Moons. I am obsessed with Ram Moons. And 
This one's good. This one kind of tastes like a Ram Moon. Yeah, it does. Alright, yeah, it has a bunch of sugar in this. So I'm definitely gonna get hyper. The next one that we're going to be trying is this. This kid looks so happy. I don't know what's going on with this, but let's try it. And we have, I guess they're giving us little directions. I'm supposed to be pouring some of this. Like this is what we have to do. We have to empty the little packets into the little, little area, stir it up and try it I guess. And then we're going to be like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> So let's try this. It smells like taffy. Like banana taffy. So I poured this in like they told me to. That chocolate does not look that great. But we are going to be trying this. So hopefully it's good. Definitely, it's definitely not the best I've had. Let's try it again. Maybe I'll change my mind. No, I don't like it at all. I give this 1 out of 10. It's... I don't like it. So the next one that we are trying... I guess this little caramel apples. Maybe this one's gonna taste better, hopefully. It looks like the little marshmallows that I got with the Hello Kitty. And then this, which I'm guessing would taste like apple. The sprinkles, and we got one of these little sticks. Woohoo! Dang! That is sour. It looks like a little donut. This one is definitely better than the freaking banana one. It's sour and it, it tastes a little bit like apple but not really. My favorite was... Actually, my favorite was the green tea Kit Kat. Oh man, I, that was so freaking good. I love the Hello Kitty Marshmallow Strawberry flavor, and then I like this Kung Pao shave. Alright, so now it's time to talk about the games that I've been playing for fun, and also the games that I'm thinking of recording for my channel. The games that I've been playing for fun is The Sims 3. I love The Sims 3. I'm not really a big fan for The Sims 4. In The Sims 4, I feel a lot, I feel really restricted, like I can't really do that much than I could in The Sims 3. So The Sims 3, I absolutely love. And the next game that I've been playing for fun is Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. It's so much fun. And on my Nintendo 3DS, I've been playing Tamadachi, which is like a weird kind of game. I can't really explain it. It's just... You make these people and then they move into this big huge apartment and they become friends or like they become enemies or they get married and have kids and it, they just do a lot of weird things which I love weird stuff and they're entertaining so I love playing it. And the next game that I've been playing on my 3DS is Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, which came out like months ago, but I still haven't finished it. I finished it on the N64, but not on the 3DS yet. So, I've been playing that. Also, I love, I don't know why, I absolutely love Cooking Mama. It's so much fun. I don't know why. It's a game, it's like a Japanese game where like, you cook all these like Japanese types of foods or American foods, and like, you're, the, just the goal is to make it correctly and I don't know why I, I don't really I'm not a big fan of cooking I'm not good at it in real life but I love playing 
cooking games. I don't know why, that's just how I am. Those are the games that I've just been playing for fun. There are games that I'm thinking of recording for my channel. Right now, I'm recording Dying Light. Outlast still. Outlast is really scary, so it's taking me a time to finish that because it's a really scary game. I'm going to be recording more Batman. I know I stopped recording Batman a long time ago, but I was having a hard time with my Elgato recording my PS4. I don't know I don't know what was going on with it. I guess like I was changing up the settings and something got messed up. So I finally got that fixed, so I'm going to start recording Batman again. And Life is Strange episode 4 came out recently, so I'm recording that. And then when Game of Thrones comes out, I'll be recording that also. And yeah, there's just a bunch of games that I want to record. And I have, I have big plans for my channel. There are things that I want to do, and I'm going to be doing it. Sometimes I don't have the time to do it. Sometimes it's not the right time to record. I hope you guys will enjoy whatever videos I post, as you guys are the ones that have given me support and love, and I want to continue giving you guys the best content that I can give you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was fun trying out all this candy. I'm definitely feeling a little bit like uh, hyper. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching the Kitty Plays. Come back next time. <laughs> oh, man, I'm feeling so like so much sugar in my body, it's crazy. I feel like... Yeah. Just sipping on some strawberry filled up sugar soda. Cause I'm thirsty. I'm hyper. So much candy. I'm just gonna play some games. Yeah. Cause that's what I do. I play video games. On YouTube.